I'm Don Blake with Inland Kenworth, and I'm here to introduce you to the Kenworth T680 Next Generation. This is our most aerodynamic, fuel-efficient truck that Kenworth has ever created. You can see right away from the slick design how aerodynamic it is, but there's features that this truck has that you don't see that make it aerodynamic. For example, this bumper sticks 18 inches, goes 18 inches underneath the sleeper. I'm still not touching it. It helps smooth out the airflow underneath the truck, preventing it from churning in the engine compartment and giving you that extra drag. Uh, the lights up front here, they're high impact, best in class halogen projection headlights, and they don't yellow. They're infused with UV inhibitors. Our metal grills on these trucks are actually metal, and look how tightly woven they are. I mean, if you look around at some of these grills, here's my cell phone. I'll show you a couple other things that we, we've done on the truck here. On these trucks here, you'll see we have what's called these wheel well closeouts. These help increase the fuel efficiency by about up to 1.5% on the Kenworth trucks. I want to show you this feature because this is really exciting for me because I would have never thought how great this feature was. The very first Kenworth T680 next gen we sold, I sold to a potato farmer. And after he had the truck for a week, I called him and said, hey, how do you like the truck? He said, it is the most fuel efficient truck I've ever had. But the thing that he was most excited about was this turn signal, which shocked me. It's 14 inches long. When this thing lights up, he said, everybody around me knows exactly what I'm going to do. See how well that lights up the road? It's just amazing. Another nice safety feature is the evenly placed steps on these trucks. And the door has two D-dents. One, two. So it makes it, two right there. So it makes it easier to get up in and out of the cab. Three points of contact. Kenworths are built very tough. These doors, they'll hold 350 pounds in your map pocket. They have triple seals on them. So when this door shuts, it's like a submarine. It's airtight. It doesn't get any of that wind noise coming in the cab, which can be so annoying to drivers. Another nice feature on the Kenworth is that the mirrors are mounted on the cab rather than the door. So your mirrors are not constantly getting out of adjustment when you hit uh, opening and close that door. And they're impact resistant, so they break away, but they don't hit the side of your cab and damage it. Kenworths come with a very nice, probably the best in the industry, battery inspection box. That easy, you can get in there, see your batteries, make sure your connections are tight. You can actually reach in there and grab them with your fingers. Look at some of these other trucks that you can't do that. They've, they're, this the space is really tight or they're blocked off. Another nice feature about the Kenworth is the ride that it provides. And they do that by putting the airbags on the sleeper on the outside of the frame rails. You see how they're on the outside? And what that does is when you're going around a turn, it makes the truck more stable so you don't feel that tippiness that you do on a heavy turn. Just want to touch base quickly on the fifth wheel. It may not seem like a big deal, but these trucks, the Kenworths, are now coming with the Fontaine no slack fifth wheel. And what that means is when you take off, you don't feel that jerk because this fifth wheel has a no slack feature to it. So unlike any other fifth wheel out there, you're gonna feel a lot less of that jerk. I mean, sometimes you're gonna swear that trailer's gonna fall back off of the truck. You know, you feel that play in there. With this, you don't get that. And another thing is probably the most requested item and the best feature that they've put on these trucks lately, in my opinion, is they have in-cab fifth wheel release. So you don't have to get out and do this far. As long as all the safety uh, lockouts are met, you can release the fifth wheel from inside the cab. So the toolboxes on the Kenworth, they're really nice. They're actually double walled so you don't get a pregnancy mark on the outside of your, your sleeper, your side box if something slides over and hits it. You got a rubber mat in there to help keep things from sliding down and keep the noise down from coming inside the sleeper. We've got a low voltage situation on this truck, so otherwise you'd have a light inside here so you could see what's going on. But the nice thing is the door stays open on its own. It's double walled. You don't have to hold it open with your head. I'm gonna show you guys the new 15 inch digital display that Kenworth has. 
It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks fantastic at night. It's customizable, so you can have as many gauges as you want on there or as few gauges as you want to see. You can, it'll have a tr multiple tripodometers in there. The thing that's really nice is that it will give you advice on what to do when you have a problem with the truck. So in the old days, you're driving around a, a tr and a, a light comes on one of the gauges. And so then you kind of have to figure out what to do. Nowadays, when the light comes on, it's gonna give you actionable advice on what to do. It'll tell you what the problem is and what you should do. And that's the beauty of the new digital dashers. Um, I get asked this question a lot. What is this? Actually, it's really just the little tiny LED light. And you'll look, and it just bays your cup holder area down here. So at night, it's really gentle, but you can find your phone, your keys, whatever you're sitting down in there. The Kenworths come with a pre-wired setup for your, digit, for your CB. So it's all your wires are right there. It's easy to hook up, slide right, right in. It looks very clean. There's a lot of storage inside the Kenworths. You've got multiple compartments. Compartments over here, they'll fit a hard hat in there if you need to. You've got windshields that come all, uh, a, win, a window covering that comes all the way around the front of the window, but then you also have window closure, uh, closures for the sleepers here. So you can close off the, the complete front windshield, it's on the slide track, but it also comes with a curtain to separate the sleepers. Sleeper on the T680, you have a lot of room. You've got full length cabinets and inside this cabinets are places for magazines, books. There's a mirror, there's a coat hook in there and there's two shelves. You've got the mirror, coat hanger, two shelves, uh, a shelf and two racks in there. Refrigerator is a slide out, look down refrigerator so you easily see what's in there. Instead of trying to bend over and look what's at the back of your refrigerator and the totes slide out <clears throat> almost full length and they're removable so you can take your gear in and out of the truck very easily back here you have a workstation with a tv mount holds up to a 24 inch tv and you have um and the power setup right here under the bunk there is a ton of storage and it's long enough so you can put a load lock holders in here and you'll notice you'll see our side boxes here with the double walls. They're on both sides of the truck, so it makes it a lot easier to get your stuff in and out. Um, they have a, normally this would be lit up, but we do, do have a low voltage situation right now. And these trucks come equipped with S-Bar heaters and auto start stop system as well. 